Monday, 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 Monday. Happy Monday, you guys. It's currently Sunday for me. But hey, if you're on a diet, you slipped off on the weekend, Monday is time to get back on the ball. You know, get back on that diet, get back in the gym. So uh, since it's Sunday for me, you know what that means. You saw it in the intro. It's meal prep time, which on keto has been so, so easy. But I got new things at the uh, grocery store this time. Spent a little bit more money than I wanted to uh, because I've been doing a lot of research. I've been doing a lot of reading. And I told you guys that when I get into this keto, I'm like committing myself for, for like three months. I want to go in and I don't want to just like just do like what bro science tells you to do or you're just like, oh, just don't eat any carbs. That's pretty easy. Just freaking eat bacon and drink butter. So I've been doing a lot of reading and there's a lot of new th research out there, a lot of science, a lot of bro science, a lot of, you know, it's just like, whew, I still need to wrap my head around it, but there's a lot of new things out there on the market. So I'm going to break down what I got uh, from the from the store. $100, a little bit more than I wanted, but it, I think it's going to help me this week because I think I showed you in the last video. I don't know why I just slapped my chin like that. Uh, last video was 187 on Saturday when we were looking at the truck. I woke up this morning, Sunday at 186. I didn't even work out yesterday, so I lost a pound. So I need to increase my calories because I think I'm just burning fat uh, and I'm dehydrated. I need to figure out the solution. And I think the solution is more calories. I said about the refeed, I don't think I'm going to do that. Rambling. Hello. Anyways, let's go break down the grocery shop and just show you my sweet haircut. Cut off my hair. I said, you know what? Let's just shave this thing. Psych! Look at this. Look at these braids. Look at Jenny Boo thinks that we're gonna have a girl when we have a kid. We're not pregnant. We're not pregnant. You saw her drinking alcohol the other day. Uh, she braided my hair. I look like freaking, look at it. I look like freaking Post Malone. Anyways, we're gonna break down the shopping cart. Let's start with let's start with protein. Let's start with protein. So I've been telling you guys that like you don't want to have too much protein on keto because your, your protein, if you have excess protein with not enough fat, then the protein will break down and turn into uh, sugar in your body and then it'll knock you out of keto. So I'm ramping up my calories this week to like 3,200 and I'm ramping my fat percentage up from 75% to 80%. So I'm like at 300 grams of carbs, uh, 300 grams of fat this week and like still 150 to 165 grams of protein. So more fat, about the same amount of protein, more total calories. But I've always said in the last few videos that saturated fats, you know, you kind of want to stay away from, but I actually did some research and it turns out, pretty interesting fact here, that your noggin, your brain, is made up of 60% fat and 50% of that fat is saturated. So you need saturated fat for your noggin. So uh, there's been like old research that says saturated fat is not good. Obviously, it's all about moderation. I mean, you can't just drink butter or like dip your bacon in butter all day long and think that you're going to have a good heart. So it's all about moderation, but saturated fats aren't evil. Uh, you just don't want to have all saturated fat. It's all about having a little bit of all the fats. So uh, what I got for protein sources, uh, you saw the duck, right? I have them in the fridge. I'm not going to pull them out. Two roasted ducks. My father gave them to me. He got some ducks. He's a big fan of duck. We used to make duck all the time. So I got two roast duck. I'm probably going to freeze one because that's a lot of protein and Jennifer can't eat it because it's too fatty. So I got duck. I also got wild caught buckeye salmon. Yeah, wild caught buckeye salmon. Uh, so what I've heard on the streets of YouTube is that uh, you don't want uh, farm fresh or like farm raised salmon because they feed it a bunch of crap and uh, it has more omega-6s in the farm-raised salmon versus the wild-caught, which has more omega-3s. And the omega-3s are the good, good fat. So omega-3s, if I go to my notes, omega-3s are good for cardiovascular health. So uh, obviously you're gonna get some omega-6s in here and there, but you wanna get your omega-3s in. So in addition to wanting to get my omega-3s and my protein, I got which I'm not excited about, is sardines in water. So sardines, uh, it actually says omega-3 is right on the thing, uh, in water because you don't want to put it in, uh, get like the ones that are in like tomato sauce or olive oil. 
Uh, obviously the tomato sauce is gonna have some sugars, uh, but olive oil, they can put like really cheap like canola oil and crap like that. So in water so that I can basically add like mayonnaise, like a healthy mayonnaise or like mix it up with avocado or put it in a salad without getting extra like goopy, gross uh, sources of olive oil. So in water, I'll try these on the full day of eating. I don't know how it's gonna go. And then I also got mackerel. So uh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Where is it? Oh, boom. Contains about 1200 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids per serving in water, mackerel. So that's two sources of fish, or no, three. I got salmon, mackerel, and sardines. So three sources of fish that have, which I never eat fish. I literally can't tell you the last time I had fish. So three sources of fish, all have omega-3s. I also got some walnuts, bada bing, good source of omega-3s. Uh, other sources of fat, I couldn't help myself, I was in this, Basically, it's kind of like a, a store that it's almost like Whole Foods in my town. MCT oil, so medium chain triglycerides from coconut oil. Um, basically, MCT is good for instant energy. So when you're running on ketones, your body's like, I need fat for energy, and it's easily digested. So it's just like fast absorbing in your system, MCT oil. So um, look, it even says it, it says right here. I didn't, even, I didn't even know. Fast fuel for body and brain. It says it on the bottle, it must be true. This thing was 25 bucks, basically. Um, also, something very new. This thing was 15 bucks, Stevia drops. So Stevia, I'm gonna do some trials. I have that keto blood tester, right? I'm gonna see if I have this Stevia, if it knocks me out of keto, because essentially, I guess, everybody's body's different, and it could knock me out of ketosis. For some people, it might not. So we're gonna test this out, but I'm gonna put this basically in my coffee. Uh, so that, this is the weird one. This is the weird one. I've never heard of this in my life. I didn't even know this was a thing. Organic, it looks like little bags of drugs. Like, I don't know what the hell this is. Nutritional yeast. So nutritional yeast has the benefits of notes. Uh, oh, so uh, basically, one recipe that I've found is you mix this with asparagus and, and sea salt and coconut oil. It's supposed to be delicious, but I don't even know what it tastes like. So full day of eating, you'll see that. Nutritional yeast, high in B vitamins. So it's gonna give you instant, or it's gonna give you good energy, uh, boost immune system, and supports a healthy pregnancy. So maybe I'll feed this to Jennifer when she gets pregnant. Um, so yeah, uh, main, main thing is that it's healthy source of B vitamins, which I don't take any supplements at all. So uh, this is like a natural source of B vitamins. So I got omega threes. I got uh, B vitamins from uh, my nutritional yeast. I have a little bit of stevia to give me that sweet tooth. Uh, I got a bunch of asparagus. Um, I have bok choy, I have Napa cabbage. I got Brussels sprouts. So I got tons of veggies because what I've noticed is if I have like a big bowl of veggies, a little bit of meat and some fat, like that fills me up forever. So a um, little bit different food groups this week, like a lot of fish. I'm not used to all this fish. So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, did I miss anything else? Oh, I got eggs. I wanna go to a farm and get fresh eggs because um, what I'm reading about eggs is pretty horrifying. So I think farm fresh eggs are gonna be the next thing on my list. When I went to that natural food place, they were like five bucks a dozen. I got 18 for $1.50. So that's the only thing I'm like, oh God, it's so much cheaper, but boom, that's it. That's all I had for some, for some knowledge. So saturated fats aren't the, aren't the devil. It's the devil, baby. Um, Omega-3s focus this week. Uh, getting into more veggies and fiber, trying a little bit of stevia and trying to add in fish to the diet. So that's my plan this week. Uh, that's the meal prep. Uh, as far as actually prepping, I just prepped the ducks. Uh, I don't like to prep the vegetables on keto because then I get all the yucky inside the fridge. So I wouldn't easily be able to like pull the duck out, sear up some asparagus, sprinkle a little bit of this nutritional yeast on it and just pound it down. Or just take these sardines out, put an avocado, mix it up in a bowl and just eat it. So the meal prep on keto is pretty freaking easy. So that's it for the grocery all. $100, will I turn into a beast? or will it shrivel away and die? I don't know. We, we will find out. Uh, today's Sunday. That's it for, for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. We're gonna pick up my truck. It's gonna be a snowstorm. Hopefully the freaking dealership is open 
and they don't freaking screw me again. And then we're gonna retest open workout 19.2. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. I'm out of breath. I'm sweating. It snowed so much last night. I'm currently at my mom's house because I'm a loving son. I'm shoveling my mom out because her driveway is so, so steep, but it's like that really wet, heavy snow. So it's literally like doing Russian twists left and right. It is exhausting. Take a little break. This is my excuse for taking a little break, but I put up a Monday motivational post. So January 1st, I'll put it right here. January 1st to today, uh, 205 pounds post like cheat day and holiday and all that super bloated all the way down to 184.8 today crazy because I told you guys Friday I was 189 for the CrossFit Open then Saturday I woke I woke up uh 187 Sunday 186 today 184.8 so that's 5.2 pounds in Friday, Saturday Sunday in three days so that's a lot of weight I think so much snow just fell on top of the car um I should probably move the Audi but uh I think what it was was so much nervous system stress, central nervous system stress from the 19.2 attempt that my body just like dehydrated itself. A lot of squat cleans, a lot of cardio. I told you guys I never felt so awful in a workout before. So I think that's where it's coming from. People message me and they're concerned about muscle. I'm not concerned about muscle. I'm definitely way leaner. I look like I shredded a lot of stomach fat. <clears throat> and about half of that, I'm, I'm sweating, I'm sweating oil. Um, about half of that is water weight, so I'm not concerned. If I felt really fatigued and tired and just like awful all day, and I was losing this much weight, then I would be concerned, but that's my morning little rant. My mom is watching me shovel. Thanks for the help, mom. Just watch me. Chris, buddy, you. My mother loves me more than you. Psst. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. Your wedding venue just emailed me. Excuse you? For what? They said that we're such a great looking couple together and our pictures that Keely shared with them are just phenomenal and they would love to share it on their website. <laughs> For a price. <laughs>
Cola. I didn't do better. Did you do the same or you did worse? Worse. Really? Yeah. Just wasn't in it. Mm. Wasn't in it. But dang, that truck looks nice out there. Okay, okay, okay. Boys and girls, we gotta end this video. So, 19.2 didn't go as planned. I kind of already mentally checked out before I did it. Didn't want to do it. Chris did it. He did worse. So I'm like, oh man, if he did worse, I'm definitely gonna do worse. But that's not really a good excuse. So my plan of attack was way better. I did sets of five on the toes of the bar. Uh, nice and paced out sets of the barbell. I had basically 30 seconds of rest per round. So a lot more paced out. My heart rate was more in control, but my legs just didn't have enough juice in them. So um, it is what it is. I don't think it's necessarily just keto. I think maybe keto is possibly playing a factor. We'll see in the rest of the workouts, the last, the last three ones. Um, but I think it's a combo of not having been doing a lot of strength the last month and a half. Uh, I did that squat program, 20 rep squat program, like from my birthday all the way through like January and I felt really, really strong, but then I completely stopped doing legs like all of February. So uh, that's one thing. I haven't been squat cleaning super heavy. Uh, the last time I was squat cleaning heavy or power, power cleaning heavy was back in uh, September, getting ready for that competition. So a couple factors, but it is what it is. Uh, the, two, the getting to the 275 pound round was still a really good score, so I'm happy with it. Chris technically beat me because he, basically how this workout works for people that don't know is if you finish the double unders in an X amount of time, but you don't get to the barbell for a rep, then the fastest person that completed the double unders gets extra points. So Chris beat me in that. We got the same exact reps, he just finished his double unders faster than me. So technically it's one to one right now. So we both won a workout. So 19.2, I hope you guys had a good workout. Got the truck, the truck is awesome. Oh, I'm, saut I'm sauteing my Brussels sprouts as I'm doing this video, uh, making some salmon tonight. I have, I think I should on Instagram, I had anchovies today for the first time, or sardines. My breath smells like caca. It tastes, it smells like the taste of when you, if you ever bit into like a fish oil pill, it's bad. But uh, I need to figure out some other sardine recipes, so. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today's video. 19.2 in the books, not the best. Uh, meal prep, uh, more fish, more omega-3s, all sorts of fancy stuff uh, for this week. I'm not gonna do the refeed. I think I was just mentally stressed out because of buying the truck and it was a long day and I was like, I need a refeed. So no refeed this week. Sorry for those that wanted to see the refeed, but maybe in the future, but I'm gonna try to go as far as I can on keto straight through. Know what I'm saying, baby? A baby, 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 no, 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 no keto for you, no keto for you, okay, that's the end of the video, see you guys on Wednesday, I know this video was late, but Wednesday will be, we will be showing you the progress at the gym, almost done, it's amazing. See you guys on Wednesday.